Hi, I'm Jess, part-time Hobbit, and I'm here to talk to you about Tolkien. The seasons are changing and we've just moved on to fall, but I thought I would give Summer one last lovely kiss goodbye with a picnic that any Hobbit would be proud of. I started the morning baking up some blueberry zucchini bread. A lot of people seem kind of intimidated by zucchini bread, but I promise it's really not going to taste like salad. Just like in carrot cake, adding in grated vegetables just makes this quick bread delightfully moist. The recipe is honestly pretty simple and follows the same structure as a lot of other quick breads. Once you've prepped your zucchini, you combine your wet ingredients, your oil, vanilla, sugar, and eggs. Then you mix in your other flavorings and your leavening agents, and you want to make sure that everything is very well combined before you add in any of your dry ingredients. If you overmix your flour into your batter, you'll end up with a very tough bread, so just make sure you're being careful once your flour has gone in to mix it as little as possible. Zucchini bread is really like an end of summer food in my mind, since my family makes it as a way to get rid of excess zucchinis that were harvested from the garden in August. Somehow with zucchinis, you always end up with way more than you ever wanted, and then you're pawning them off frantically onto every person you know, but eventually you're just gonna have to accept your fate and find a way to use them. And this is a really excellent one. I do have a deep set weakness for chocolate zucchini bread, but I really like this recipe right now because it's a little lighter and it's bursting with fresh blueberries and that little hint of cinnamon to help you welcome in the fall. With the bread ready and in the oven, we're gonna get a start on one of our side dishes, and I can't really think of anything more hobbity than a potato salad. A lot of potato salads are a bit heavy, but I have an affinity for this German potato salad. The thing that sets a German potato salad apart is the lack of mayonnaise, and I don't want this to sound like I am anti-mayonnaise in any way. I really love mayonnaise, but I like vinegar a little bit more, and this potato salad incorporates the rich fat and crispy texture of bacon with a really bright mustard and vinegar dressing, and I think it would make Samwise Gamgee proud. With our red potatoes boiled and a bunch of bacon fried up, I'm gonna slice up some garlic and onions. I realized once I started filming this video that I have no idea if I cut onions the, like, correct way. So if my onion cutting abilities are offending you, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I went to theater school and not culinary school, and that's going to be my excuse. The onions and garlic are just gonna fry up in some of the leftover baking grease and fond, and once they are nice and soft and just a little bit golden, I'll set them aside in a bowl for later. Without cleaning out the cast iron and while it's still pretty hot, I'm gonna combine some chicken broth, mustard, apple cider vinegar, and a bit of sugar, and reduce all of that down by half for about two or three minutes. Then it's time to dice up our potatoes and our bacon, as well as a bit of fresh parsley, which really gives you that nice green bite that you need in a rich dish like this. We're gonna throw everything into a big bowl to mix, along with a dash of olive oil just to marry all of these beautiful flavors together. In an ideal world, your bread will be done right around the time your potato salad is finished, so set that aside to cool completely before you even consider touching it. Lemonade is the perfect picnic drink, and you cannot change my mind about that. 
So here I'm just gonna mix up some freshly squeezed lemon juice, simple syrup, and water. Simple syrup is like my new secret weapon for lemonade after a childhood wasted desperately and fruitlessly trying to get those last grains of sugar to dissolve from the bottom of a jug of lemonade. And yeah, I'm still a little bitter about that. I'm pouring half the lemonade off into a very nice bottle, but the other half is going to get a pour of rose water and a bit of red food coloring. I haven't had rose water lemonade in probably like 10 years, but now that I bought two bottles of rose water off of Amazon, it's my new hyperfixation, and I plan on drinking it well into the upcoming winter, even if it is completely seasonally inappropriate. I have had a love-hate relationship with sandwiches for all of my life and it's taken me a while to come around to them. But you really can't deny that for a picnic, you kind of have to go with them. I will say there's a chance that my dislike for sandwiches may have been my own fault, since as a child I thought that yellow mustard and turkey on untoasted whole grain bread would like be a totally fine sandwich to eat. But those days are long past, so I'm making up some delicious club sandwiches on a good seedy bread toasted to a lovely golden brown. For a picnic like this, a fruit tray is a must in my opinion, so I stacked mine up with strawberries, apples, oranges, peaches, and grapes. Finally, I am going to wrap everything up in some nice pretty parchment paper and ribbon, and I'm going to pack all of it into my picnic basket, which ended up being so heavy that the handle came off while I was walking with it. But I think that's kind of like a very hobbity problem to have, so we'll let it slide. And, of course, the most hobbity thing you could do is share. So I met up with a couple of friends, wandered into the woods, and took in the last long days of summer with a full heart and a full er stomach. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun coming along on my little hobbit picnic this week. Stuff like this may seem kind of frivolous, especially when the world is a little bit crazy, but I think it's really important that we all let ourselves have these kinds of breaks from reality sometimes. A chance to step out of our everyday lives and allow ourselves to experience something magical. Let me know in the comments below what you've been doing lately to help get yourself out of your everyday rut, and please like this video if you enjoyed it. A really huge thanks to Dylan this week for filming everything that you just watched. He's absolutely fabulous, and he knows how this camera works better than I do. Please subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing here on this channel. I do videos every single Thursday all about Tolkien and anything Tolkien adjacent that I find fun, and I would love to have you join our little community here. I hope you all take a little bit of time this week to step out of your everyday life and into the magical, and I hope that you all have a very happy, hobbity day.